because I don't know if I packed enough socks. All right, I've got the Speed Cross Fives. <laughs> what does Joseph have today? Yeah. Boom. Speed Cross Fours. Yep. So well, muddy. Still going, man. Still they look. They red. look. They look good. Yeah. Oh man. Some red dirt from Red Hill. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Red Hill today. Not too long. Just getting some a uh, little bit of vert. And uh, Joseph has the fours. And for everyone out there wondering. The fours and the fives are very, they're very similar. There's some differences through the upper, but uh, man, they just keep keep going. How long have you had those? Uh, I've had these over, gosh, over a year, year Over and a half. year, yeah. Yeah, I don't wear them, you know. Then it looks like just like a little wear and tear right through here. Yeah, all that's from rocks, you know, on peaks and everything. Yeah. Um, all that kind of the sidewall, I guess. Wow. So... Joseph's a mountain man, so uh, <laughs> his shoes get a little more beat up than uh, us city folk. All right, let's see here. <laughs> I like the red a lot. Isn't it? At first, I was like, online, I was like, oh my gosh, that's too much red. No, but then once they arrived, I was like, okay, that's that's, cool. that's the real deal right there. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have, could have like, those types of shoes in high school for... Yeah, right? BB. Um... <laughs> 360. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's not. It's, and it's like once you get going, ah, you get so stuff, but. Up. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Sweet. I mean, yeah, we were right there. <laughs> He's pretty solid. Uh, I think he would be better if he wasn't doing everything else, but he knows his, he kind of knows his spot. So, uh, shout out to uh, Jason on Strava. I think he commented yesterday about how it's too bad we don't have the same shoe size. <laughs> what size shoe are you? Uh, nine. Oh, yeah, so all these shoes that are arriving at the house, it's, uh, I could pass them off to Joseph, but just not quite. About a size too big. <laughs> you wouldn't have you wouldn't have to buy shoes for the rest of your life. <laughs> he does like 15 races a year. So he all the so the era Vipa running, that's all him. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So he'll do like... So, okay. all right. Yeah. Oh, shoot. 
forgot to start it last for last time. Oh, from the. Uh, we probably went. Uh, where, where was that? From the I think it was from the stop line. Was, was that like a mile? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a mile. It's okay. What were we at? Seven. Or? So I think we got eight. Oh, nice. Nice. Good work. Woo. Awesome. Woo, baby. Oh man, just catching up on life, everybody. Catching up on life. I think I slept nine hours last night which is a lot for me. That was like divine, absolutely amazing. I feel so much better today. So sleep, it's critical. It's just critical. Um, I'm trying to figure out the right balance with sleep anyway. Joseph and Mackenzie are off running errands. I'm catching up on email from all of you and Strava posts. And by the way, speaking of Strava, I gave a shout out to the wrong person on the run. It was not Jason, it was Brent. Brent asked the question, do my brother and I have the same shoe size? So thank you, Brent, for that uh, question. Resting on a Sunday. Resting on a Sunday. Little banquet beer. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Cheers, YouTube. All right, YouTube. We're back watching football. The uh, who just won? The Rams just the Rams. beat the yeah just beat the Saints last well, overtime field goal. Poor uh, Drew Brees. Uh, and then next, we're going to watch the Chiefs and the Pats. But before that, we're going to talk a little bit about running with Joseph. And you know I'm doing the live streaming now. And so this is not going to be a full-on interview. This is just planting the seeds for you guys to get a little bit of background as to Joseph's experience with running. Um, and I'm actually, I actually don't know officially how... Because I, I think a lot of you know that I discovered running through, you know, basically because I couldn't kick a, kick a soccer ball hard enough. <laughs> so, but I actually, I'm curious, because um, Joseph, you actually played football yeah. in yeah. middle school, right? I did, yeah. Played some football. Basketball was really my main focus. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's funny. Couldn't kick, couldn't kick a soccer ball. <laughs> I couldn't kick a soccer ball far enough. So the, yeah. I was like, I'm just going to get rid of the ball. <laughs> um, but when did you... I, I, and so we're not going to give the full running story today. You're just going to have to come back to the live stream for that. Um, and we're not even going to talk about your PRs, which they're impressive. <laughs> not going to talk about those. Uh, but I want to talk first, I think, about... High school, so there's a lot of high school runners that watch these videos and these vlogs. Um, maybe you could talk about the progression of your mileage from your freshman year of high school, mm -hmm. kind of like in ru you know roughly, yeah, and then all the way to your senior year, like what your mileage was like. Yeah, I think I mean mileage wise, it was really low, and then it stayed pretty low actually. Yeah. I think freshman year I was running maybe. 15 yeah. 20 miles a week and then by senior year i i think I, you know 45 to 50 was yep. really high end actually probably like 40. Yep. um and i think it was just really taking it more seriously throughout high school and just being more focused on it yeah yeah um and i think yeah it's 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 more focusing on the intensity of workouts and just mm -hmm being more committed to all the little things. Yeah. Um, the mileage definitely increased a little bit, but not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so. I would say that we definitely both come from a little bit of a lower mileage background for everyone out there watching. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in high school, because I know that there are programs that do bigger mileage. Um, we grew up at Buena, in Buena Vista, Colorado, so 8,000 feet above sea level. Yeah. Um, I will say Joseph won state his, <laughs> his senior year of, uh, in cross country. Um, but then I don't want to talk about cross country workouts. I'm curious. You played basketball mm -hmm. all four years. Yeah. Um, I'm curious about your workouts playing, practicing for basketball. And then also, yeah, talk about your winter training yeah, I guess that maybe is a big difference because, yeah, basketball was my main focus. I played basketball six months out of the year, yeah. summer basketball, and then, of course, in the winter as well. Yeah. And really, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior year, I didn't really run during the winter. Mm -hmm. um, I just focused on basketball. But then a senior year, especially, maybe a little bit of junior year too, but I would run in the mornings before school 
um, you know, usually three to five miles in the morning yep. um, and then go to school and then practice until usually six, six thirty at night for basketball. Yeah. So it was like a 12 hour day of, you know, kind of two workouts and basketball really was a great workout for running um, that high end stuff. And and really, I think a lot of injury prevention type mm -hmm. of work. So, um, yeah, basketball is a great, great benefit for running. Yeah. So I was helping coach Joseph through the winter, and I specifically remember watching Joseph play basketball, sprinting up and down the basketball court, and I was like, <laughs> this is perfect for the 800, yeah. the mile, even the two mile as well, but it's perfect speed work. Yeah, great if you can stay work. healthy and like not hurt yourself. Not hurt yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, great speed work. And I think it's, you know, being a runner, it's ultimately you're just, you know, another athlete. And like being in basketball just fueled my, you know, competition and everything. And so, yeah, I love basketball still today. And oh, yeah. it was it was great. And I think running in the mornings before school and 8,000 feet, I think the coldest I ever saw with wind chill was negative 25. And I still, wow. I still ran that morning. And so it was yeah. just that kind of mental toughness and dedication yeah. that, that increased. And um, obviously, you know, between junior and senior year, it was a big jump. I went from, you know, 948 in yeah. the two mile. And then the very next time I ran the two mile, I ran 904 wow. out in California. And so yeah. um, it was a big jump. And I think there was a lot of little factors, yeah. um, including, you know, that, that winter mileage and, and, and yep. definitely basketball too so yeah yeah crazy and um fast forward so again we're not going to get into we'll, we'll talk more details about <laughs> in the live stream yeah. about some races that he did in high school but fast forwarding to even frankly the present um what kind of racing are you interested in now and like what is your 2019 racing look like like what are you hoping to do yeah um Pretty much the focus now is just trail running and trail racing. Yeah. Um, kind of other mountain goals, summiting certain peaks and things here in Colorado. Yeah. Um, but yeah, racing wise, it's really, for me, I think all about the trails now. And post college, that was kind of a nice discovery to find the trails and, yeah. and kind of really enjoy running again. It's, yeah. it's similar to cross country, but it's different in terms of the distances and, mm -hmm. and it's a, you know, a bit slower and, and whatnot. A little more adventurous, I would say. So, yeah, um, yeah, 2019, I think, um, really just a few local races here around Aspen and Carbondale, yep. um, and maybe some other mountain races around the state. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. kind of the the plan right now. We're secretly plotting for a potential race outside the outside yeah. of Colorado. Yeah. We'll keep you posted on whether it happens or not. Any uh, tips? for anyone really, but maybe especially high schooler, but any like tips as they're maybe getting ready for track or like they're, yeah, yeah. that they, you know, it's like they're, you know, and I know a lot of people are watching that are not getting ready for track, but <laughs> any, uh, yeah. a tip that might come to mind on any, any, any topic really, but. Yeah, I think it's, oh uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's January, but really, if you want to do well in track, you got to be running right now. Mm -hmm. If you want to do well in cross country, you got to be running yeah. in May, June, July. Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah, I love the saying, you got to dig the well before you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't necessarily have goals right now, um, if you don't do the work right now, it's going to be too late. Yeah. So thinking that kind of, and it's hard when you're in high school and, and it's hard when you're busy as an adult to think long term, but yeah. that's really important. Running is, is basically just a long term game. You just slowly make your body adapt and, you know, stress it more and more. Mm -hmm. So I think if, if you can just do that slowly, um, you'll know, have more success and avoid injuries. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, for high schoolers, keep it fun and, yeah. uh, have a good time. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a uh, it's a good sport. It's, it's a brutal sport, but it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty fun. <laughs> I do feel like as a 34 year old that, uh, I don't know that I feel the strongest for sure. And like, I think the aerobic is still coming around or sorry, 33 year old, <laughs> the aerobic <laughs> is still coming around, but, um, as far as like overall that old man strength, like it just takes time to develop the, 
and it's different it's not gym strength which it's good to get to the gym but like it's just a different type of strength Mm -hmm. that it just you can't snap your finger it's literally years and years of development yeah definitely yep yeah i would agree with that for sure and one last uh maybe one last question uh is there a workout from high school that like one specific so i was helping give you some workouts but is there a workout that you felt like really did make you faster or like yeah i mean i think my i guess theory with workouts is they should the best workouts give you confidence Mm. so i think about what gave me the most confidence uh and we yeah a lot of great workouts and i think mile repeats really gave me the most confidence Mm. because it was such a neat like for the 5k in cross country you could break it down do three by a mile Mm -hmm. essentially your race length Mm -hmm. and that really built my confidence on like okay if i'm going to run 440s you know three times 440 or something then i know i'm going to race pretty well so i think just find things that really give you confidence that build your confidence up and i think that specifically we did a workout at the grange uh right before foot locker midwest yeah and i ran like four, four thirty-seven, four forty-seven, and four thirty-one. Nice. Not crazy fast, but my PR at the time was four forty-three. Yeah. So it was just like once again that jump from wow. junior to senior year was big, but then just really getting ready for Foot Footlocker Midwest. Yes. That was uh, that really gave me a lot of confidence and 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 was is a fun workout. You were biking with me. It was yes. Out in Boulder. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> and. Come back to the live stream. We had some. I think we did some pretty good strategizing uh, for racing, specifically before state. Mm-hmm. But we anyway. We'll talk. We won't reveal the <laughs> won't reveal the secrets now. Oh yeah, lots of phone calls, lots of meetings. So. Yeah. Um. All right. Do you and not putting you on the spot, and we can. But do you have a, a question of the day that you'd? Uh, <laughs> like to ask YouTube. Uh, question of the day. Let's see. So you know, it's everyone's runners. I guess it'd be interesting to know. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, kind of what's your th- like, what's your thing in the winter if you're not into running, yeah. or how do you maybe change your running? Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it's skiing. It used to be basketball. So yeah, what do you do? Uh, kind of what do you do in the off season that still keeps you fit, but is maybe not running. Did you hear that, YouTube? That's, that's the question of the day. And I guess we need a keyword. Uh-oh. Um, putting us on the spot. You got a keyword? Uh, keyword. Uh, we're both wearing flannels. I don't know. There we go. I like it. Fla- <laughs> what is the show? Between two ferns will yeah. be between two flannels. So. Between two flannels. <laughs> nice. Keyword flannels down in the comments. And... Uh, I think we're gonna close it out actually because everyone needs to rest, right? So seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Come back for a live stream with Joseph at some point. We'll figure it out. (laughs) See you tomorrow.